Hello and welcome to Inside Piano. This video is a prelude to a following series of videos about basic piano major and minor triads. And the question is why is it so important for us to learn these basic concepts? Learning piano has always been hard because of its mathematical properties. And it has been explained to us that way by many teachers throughout the years. And yes, it is important for us to know them. But the truth is that music is a language and it should be interpreted as such. Because when we see music as a language, instead of as mathematics, our brain interprets it as words, instead of as a calculated number of notes based in a mathematical equation. See the difference? In a sense, these words are mathematical expressions on their own, but now the math is happening in the background, out of the way of our creativity. So music has its words, grammar and syntax. To speak piano, we need to know what those are, major, minor triads and all the basic stuff those are our words and we use them to speak. Harmony and counterpoint on the other hand are our grammar and syntax and we use them to make sense of these words to make sure we are saying them correctly. But harmony and counterpoint are useless if we don't know any words. And that's why triads are so important. They are our vocabulary. Let's say the C major triad, one five on the left, the notes of the chord and all of the notes in between all of these notes that fall in our natural finger position. With this, we make up our syllables. Syllables are the beats that make up the word. To keep it simple, let's create the syllable just by using the notes of the triad. C major triad. See how it's changing its nature? But it's just still the C major triad. And that is how we articulate the words. For now, it is important that we understand the role these basic elements play in the formation of more complex chords because triads are also the basis to the more complicated stuff. All that harmonically sophisticated stuff is just the result of how we blend these basic elements. Let me show you what I mean by that. Let's say we use the major triad over a different tonic. Let's say we play F major on the left, one, five, one. Then we play the C triad, which is the triad of the fifth degree. And we have an F major seven, nine chord. You see? F major 7 9. And now, because we know that by playing the major triad of the fifth of the chord, in this case C, we can play major 7 9 chords on any given key. If we are on C, it would be G major triad over C. If we are on A, it would be E major triad over A. If we are on F sharp, it would be C sharp major triad over F sharp, and so on. So, you see, we achieve that sophisticated sound just by blending two basic elements. Let's say we use the major triad of the triton over a dominant chord. Let's say F, the triton of F is B, so we play F7 on the left hand and B major triad on the right hand. And it makes an F7 flat 9 sharp 11, but for us it's just B major triad over F7. It simplified it because we know our triads. Stay tuned. On our next series of videos, we're going to practice all major and minor triads. Subscribe to our channel, leave us a comment, let us know what you think, and have a nice practice. <laughs>